Hi everyone, um, this is Dinesh on YouTube and uh, today I'm just going to explain you about the difference between the series and the parallel circuits. So let me start with the series one. So this is an example of a series circuit. Here I've connected uh, two bulbs with the battery and the key in a series combination. So if I press this key the electron started to flow in this circuit causing a conventional current in the opposite direction so now I'm going to measure the potential difference across these two bulbs these two bulbs have the different resistances so if I measure the potential difference of this bulb it shows it's uh, 4.24 volt and the potential difference between the terminals of this bulb is 4.76 volt uh, so the potential is here differs the potential difference of these uh, two bulbs differs um, with the help of this non-contact ammeter I'm going to measure the current if I measure the current uh, I just found that uh, it is the same all through the circuit here it is 0.9 ampere and here is also it's 0.9 ampere here is also 0.9 here is also 0.9 so in a series circuit the current I remains the same and the potential V differs so next uh, let me show in a parallel circuit here I have connected uh, again the two bulbs with this battery and the key these two bulbs have uh, different resistances so if I press the key now the current flow current is flowing through this circuit again I'm going to measure the voltage across this bulb it shows 9 volt if I measure the potential difference across this bulb again it shows 9 volt and across this battery it's also 9 volt and uh, if I try to measure the current here it is 2.38 ampere but here it is 0.85 ampere and here it is 1.53 ampere so in a parallel circuit the potential difference across the elements well, remains the same and uh, the current alone changes so I differs in parallel circuit and the potential difference V remains the same So in a series circuit, if you try to measure the net potential difference, we should calculate the total potential difference V is equal to V1 plus V2, where uh, V1 is the potential difference across the first bulb and V2 is the potential difference across the second bulb. So we know the relation uh, V is equal to I into R. So substitute uh, V equal to IR and V1 is equal to IR1 and V2 is equal to IR2 so take the current I outside as a common now it's R1 plus R2 so if you cancel I on either side you will get the effective resistance R in series combination S so R is the effective resistance in series combination that will be equal to the resistances of the components uh, that means the individual resistances so if you connect a uh, number of resistors or bulb in series the effective resistance will be equal to the sum of the individual resistors so here uh, in the parallel circuit uh, the net current is given by I is equal to I1 plus I2 we know the relation I is equal to V by R so I substitute here uh, I is equal to V by R is equal to V by R1 plus V by R2 
so taking this v common will be get 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so cancelling this v on both sides we get that uh, so the effective resistance uh, here represents rp so 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so if a uh, number of resistors or uh, bulbs are connected in parallel combination then the reciprocal of the effective resistance will be equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistors thank you for watching